Please like and subscribe our channel for trending news videos. Cochran resignation leaves both Mississippi Senate seats in play. Sen. Thad Cochran's unexpected resignation this week is cranking up the pressure for Republicans in Mississippi as the 2018 primary approaches leaving the real possibility for a Democrat to represent the state in the U.S. Senate for the first time in almost 30 years. Cochran, Armis, cited health challenges when he announced Monday his intention to resign effective April 1 after serving for 40 years. His move now affects the forecast for both Mississippi Senate seats for the 2018 midterm elections. Cochran's seat would not have been up for re-election. His current term began after the 2014 midterm election cycle, and would expire in 2020. But in the wake of his resignation, Mississippi Republican Gov. Phil Bryant will appoint a temporary senator to fill Cochran's vacant seat, and a special election will be held in November. The governor will appoint someone to fill the vacancy, Bryant's spokesperson told Fox News in an email Tuesday. That will happen within 10 days of April 1, said. Cochran's effective date of retirement. That means Mississippi will have two Senate races this November one for the seat currently held by moderate Republican Sen. Roger Wicker. And the second for the Cochran seat special election, which would run out the remainder of Cochran's term, expiring in November 2020. Before Cochran's announcement, the June 5 primary was solely focused on Wicker's push for re-election against Republican State Sen. Chris McDaniel. McDaniel who unsuccessfully ran an infamous 2014 primary campaign against Cochran, remains steadfast in his primary battle against Wicker but the campaign has left open the possibility of a run for the Cochran seat this fall. While it is certain that Mississippi will have two U.S. Senate races this year, I am currently focused on my campaign against Roger Wicker, but all options remain on the table as we determine the best way to ensure that Mississippi elects conservatives to the United States Senate, McDaniel said Monday in a statement to Fox News. On Tuesday, a McDaniel campaign spokesperson told Fox News they were confident their candidate could succeed Wicker. Our campaign is confident that McDaniel can beat Wicker once it's known how Wicker votes to the left of Mitch McConnell and how he is responsible for helping Democrats block Trump nominees, the spokesperson said in an email to Fox News. Having said that,